Hello YouTube, you're speaking to the general once again. Today I'm going to be doing a slight review on my water cooling system. Here we go. For my water cooling system, we will start with the reservoir. This reservoir was purchased from XOXID and it takes up two five and a half inch drive bays in total the system holds about a gallon of water this reservoir seems to hold about a fourth of a gallon of water I'm using 3 8 line hose in the system this was bought at a local hardware store because it was easier to fit out what size connector I need as the water hose I ordered offline was not enough for these compression fittings from coolant and was too big in the system, I'm using the coolant's quick disconnects in the middle of the line to be able to easily disconnect the reservoir from the system as well as the water blocks to where I won't have any water spillage in the system when working on the water cooling. The water pump is the P500. I have it wrapped up in the system through this protective covering here for my USB ports. It is pumping at about 140 gallons an hour. I don't quite remember the specs on that, but it's the P500 water pump from Thermaltake. It works pretty good. Basically I have the standard system set up. First the water comes from the reservoir to the pump. From the pump all the way up to the processor into a coolant water block. It's a real nice water block. It comes from the coolant water block and goes around the back of the system through the system. It goes to the radiator on the side of the system. This is a transmission oil cooler. It's aftermarket parts and it cools passively without a fan. The fan I have attached to it when doing extreme overclocking or anything of this type of matter, I can simply flip the switch that's up front of the system and the fan turns on and cools off the radiator furthermore. Once that portion of it's done, that's the basic loop of the water cooling system soon to be after I purchase my second 8800 GTS I will water cool both of them and add a second P500 water pump in the system there's four gigs of memory and one gig sticks that will also be water cooled when I purchase the water cooling heat sinks for it the processor is currently a uh, T6600 Intel quad core. It is overclocked at currently 3.8 gigahertz. I, so far, I've been able to top it to 4.16 at least, and it runs pretty well. The power supply is a Thermaltake Tough Power 750 watt power supply. It's providing a nice amount of power and it makes some good weight room if I ever want to upgrade anything in the system without having to buy another power supply. The final most important part is the motherboard. I'm running the P6N Diamond motherboard with an aftermarket MOSFET driver circuit that I produced myself. It's in the inside of the system in the very front it also regulates the processor power as this board's MOSFET for the processor power blew out about three weeks after I had the board and I made the repair myself and it allowed for a better overclock. Basically the system's fully functional and works very well. There will be more videos to come.